Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain about the physiologic. In my previous video, I explained about the limitations of logic. So this physiologic is very important for the examination. So this question can come for the show in the examination. So understand very carefully. Don't miss anything. So without any further delay, let's start the video. So let's understand what is physiologic first. So physi physiologic is an approach to variable processing that allows for multiple possible truth values to be processed through the same variable means what what is the physiologic means you all know about the boolean logic what is a boolean logic which has only the two results it may be the zero or it may it may be, it may be the one zero or the one yes or no it means s or no s means one no means zero so there will be only two results which is zero and the one so other than 0 and 1, we will not get any type of a result for the Boolean logic. Okay. But, so it is completely opposite to the Boolean logic is physiologic. Okay. Means what? So if we have one example, for that example, we have multiple results, multiple outcomes. Suppose, let's take an example. So for that example, we have multiple S and multiple no's. So if we have 8 S as a result, and only two as no so major uh, possible things are yes yes or no so they will be considering the result overall result as s because most of the people has uh, said for that particular answer is yes so they will be considering the s as a result for that so majority they will be checking the most coming outcome so by seeing that most coming outcome is by seeing the most coming truth values for the particular question they will be considered in the result by seeing the truth values. What are the truth values? What is the correct result? What is the consistent result for the particular question? By seeing that value, they will be considering the result of the particular thing. So, this is known as a physiologic. So, I will be explaining you very carefully with the practical example. Don't worry. So, understand this. They will be considering the consistent result for the multiple outcomes which are coming for the particular question. Yeah. Let's understand. So, physiologic attempts to solve problems with an open imprecise data and heuristic that makes it possible to obtain an array of accurate conclusions so what is the main theme of this physiologic means the physiologic main theme is to get the accurate conclusions to means to get the correct conclusions to get the correct result that is the main logic for the physio physiologic that is the main theorem for the physiologic it should get the accurate results so means what like if we have majority of people said yeah no then the result will be no majority of the people said yes the, the result will be yes so the result of that particular uh, thing will be considered by seeing the majority of the results by seeing the major of the majority of the results they will be considering the overall result okay yeah now Physiologic is designed to solve problems by considering the all available information means for all the results by considering the all the results which are there. So from the all available information from the all available data we will be considering the truth values from that data. As soon as so making the best possible decision given the input given the input means what from the all the available information they will be considering the best output. They will be considering the best output which is there. So that is known as physiology. Okay. Now you understood. So they will be considering all the information which is there. From that all the information. They will be taking the best result. They will be taking the best value which is there from the all the available information. And they will be considering that as a overall final result. This is known as physiology. I think you got now clarity of this physiology. What is physiology? So don't worry if you have any doubts still. Let's understand when we go further now let's understand small history of this physiologic how it came yeah so this physiologic was first proposed by lord p zeni okay lord p zeni in 1965 paper for the general information and the control from the general information and the control you have to understand you have to remember these names okay that's it yeah so this is a paper from this uh, he proposed this uh, the person name is uh, lord p zeni in 1965 he proposed this physiology yes he introduced the physiologic yes 
so in this paper what is it, what is there in this paper so the paper paper name is like information and the control so general information and the control the paper name is this so in this paper name what is the title of this uh, thing that is physics sets so the title of this um, thing is physics sets remember this keywords which are there so okay that's it if you remember this keywords that's it so as simple it is yeah and attempted to reflect the kind of data used in the information processing so they identify which type of data is used to process yes or no and derived the elemental logical rules for this kind of set so which kind of rules which kind of logical rules are used and which kind of information which kind of data are used to process with this particular data okay they identified which type of information and which kind of rules or logical rules are taken for the information so they have to identify this yeah physical logic has been successfully successfully applied in mechanic control systems image processing artificial intelligence and other fields so it was uh, successfully proposed in this type of like um, machine control systems or uh, image processing how the image will be processed and artificial intelligence you all know and some other fields so in this all types of fields it was successfully proposed or successfully applied this physiologic is successfully applied on these things and with ambiguous interpretation means continuous results okay i this is a small history of this physiologic no need to worry if you understand small keywords it's very easy yeah so now let's understand what is the physic control now let's understand what is about this physic control yeah what is the physic control it is a technique to embody human like thinking into the control system means what we are can we are emoting like embodying the human like thinking skills into the system so you all know how the human uh, mentality how the human will be thinking so the human thinking can't be like a system thinking so system think thinking will be different and human thinking will be different but what they are doing in this physiologic this is a technique to embody the human thinking technique into the control system technique means we are converting the human thinking uh, technique into the systems so the system can also think like a human that is the main thing that is the main aim of this means the system also can think like a human okay yeah it may not be designed to give accurate result but uh, will not get accurate results but but it is designed to give acceptance reasoning so means what what is about this accurate reasoning and what is the acceptance reasoning i will be explaining you about this two difference so look at here accurate reasoning means the correct result means or consistent result which is for sure it's a pakka result it's a correct result or so consistent results we can say that is a accurate reason, reasoning okay what is the acceptance reasoning so acceptance reasoning is nothing but like taking the best output from the multiple results so which i said before only if we, if we have a multiple outputs from that multiple outputs we have to choose the best output which is suitable that type of uh, mechanism is known as acceptance reasoning means what this physiologic cannot have accurate results but it can have acceptance results don't get confusion between this accurate and acceptance it's both are completely opposite accurate is correct results and acceptance is the accurate accurate and acceptance acceptance results are completely different accurate are the correct results acceptance are choosing the best output from the multiple outcomes okay whereas one more thing you have to understand this accurate reasoning is a boolean logic and this acceptance reasoning is a physiologic because in the boolean logic will be having the accurate results means correct results it may be zero or the one will get any of one that is the accurate correct consistent but whereas in the physiologic we may get either than zero or one it is intermediate between the zero and one 
means we cannot get the correct result that is known as acceptance reasoning or acceptance logic yes or no so this is the main difference between this uh, boolean logic and the fizzy logic so before going uh, to this fizzy logic first you have to understand about the boolean logic so that you can understand this fizzy logic more clearly you all know about the boolean logic what is the boolean logic the result of the particular question will be zero or the one other than zero and one will not get any type of an answer so for the boolean logic or boolean result we'll get only zero or the one means s or the no other than s or no will not get any other answer this is about the boolean logic the completely opposite to the boolean logic in physiology okay next the knowledge soup framework so what are the knowledge soup framework we have three things which is handling the vagueness so uh, i explained already about this vagueness so what is this vagueness lack of statement means will not if we not define the particular concept clearly at the time this vagueness effect will be happen means we have to define the particular statements clearly the example best example is the mid age mid age between the different cultures will be different meaning so we will not have the unique meaning we will have different meanings we cannot take we we'll, cannot consider the one meaning as a unique meaning as soon as so that type of uh, scenarios comes under the vagueness so to handle this vagueness is one thing and addressing the uncertainty means what uncertainty incomplete or which is not certain or correct result so this to address the incorrect result is also the one of the thing one of the framework of this next one is flexible reasoning what is the reasoning solving the complex problem so this is very flexible means we can solve the complex problem so it should be flexible okay so that is also one type of a framework in the knowledge soup okay the video is going to be very lengthy so let's make the paths okay that's it for this video in my next video i'm going to continue about this uh, physiologic and don't miss this part one and part two it's very important yeah let's uh, meet in the next video which is part two of the physiologic and that's it for this video Thanks for watching. Let's meet in next video.